Hi there. Welcome back to the Words from the Nerds oh. podcast. Oh, boy. <laughs> uh, Turn this camera off. For I, hope, I hope everybody's doing great on this fantastic evening that we are recording this on. But if you're watching, watching or listening to this at whatever time of day for you, I hope you're having a, a wonderful morning, day, afternoon, night, whatever it is. Uh, we appreciate you guys for tuning in. Um, I am going to be one of your great hosts today. I am also joined by the lesser but still kind of great hosts, Ben and Aiden. How are we doing tonight, fellas? Benjamin? Yeah. Hey, Damn. thanks. <laughs> thanks for that crazy. introduction. Like, That's really a crazy, good bro. little confidence boost. Where's the energy at? To the episode. <laughs> Where's the energy? Yeah, it's crazy. You know, I think you just set the tone, like, Damn. really well for this episode. Say. No, I'm I'm doing good. I think this will be an interesting episode because it's instead of kind of like us talking on, you know, a fresh new movie or a show that's dropping, we're covering superhero suits and we're drafting. And so I feel like episodes like this are always they seem to be more controversial than when we just have discussions because I don't know, at least in the past when we've done this for like different Marvel movies and whatnot, there's always conversation about like you know why we place certain things above others and there's usually strong disagreements depending on you know how usually how charlie feels about stuff because he's the most opinionated and vocal of the three of us but <laughs> but it, it's always turns out to be a good discussion so this should be really fun really enjoyable it's nice to have a difference of opinion every now and then, okay? Sorry I don't get on and ride alien Romulus like everybody, chat. <laughs> Isn't that crazy? Aiden, how are we doing tonight, fella? Old pal, tired. old buddy, old pal. I'm tired, but I'm awake for this discussion <laughs> right here, baby, because I'm excited to get into this. I love doing the drafts. I'm always, I'm always very fond of the drafts and, uh, you know, ranking these, these topics that we discuss. And so I'm excited to do this one because – this is one that I've I've told Charlie I've wanted to do for a while and then kind of just put it on the back burner and then now it's like all right we got this option still and so I've been yeah, itching actually, to do this one for a minute. I I think this one's been on the list since like last year sometime 2023 yeah. time. So uh if you're not aware if you couldn't read the title um we are going to be drafting our favorite our top 5 favorite I believe right? Yeah, our top yes. five favorite superhero or supervillain suits across the many, many films, both DC, I believe, as well, right? Yeah, yeah, and, yes, DC and Marvel, anything. We could even do the boys, Invincible, whatever we want to do. Okay, and we have each have our own lists, and we're gonna do, we're gonna this, we're gonna spin a wheel here shortly to to find out. Who's going first? And we're going to do a, a light little snake draft. But before we get into all that, <laughs> a little bit of housekeeping. Uh, we have the opportunity for you guys to vote, potentially, on this draft. To find out who had the best draft, who had the best suits, who picked the best suits, who had the most, the greatest taste out of all of us. Let's be honest. It's going to be me, but that's fine. You have the opportunity to tell us and let us know in our fan mail or comments on Spotify or the YouTube comments would also be nice too. Uh, we would uh, prefer both. I, I, we'd love to read all of them. But we have a specific section, I believe, in Spotify, right, where you can write uh, in fan mail and let us know. Yeah, and, any audio. Yeah, and in, in any audio, uh, any, any podcast listening platform, you have the opportunity to comment or send in some fan mail and let us know. Um, what you think and who you think won, but uh, that's something we always forget. As uh, Aiden put in the last episode, we always forget to uh, to uh, put that in at the beginning of our shows to let people know. Because but let's be honest, a lot of you probably don't stick to the very end of a podcast when you're listening anyway. Um, but yes, uh, I believe. Benjamin or oh, Aiden has it up now or no Benjamin. Okay. doesn't matter who has it up, fair. but we're about to spin to find out who's going first in this lovely draft of ours. Yes. Cause we are doing a snake draft, which means that the third person to go gets two choices and then it goes in reverse order. Kind of goes back and forth. 
So first up is please don't be me. Please don't be me. Mr. Oh. Pet. <laughs> Mr. Pet. <laughs> That's it. crazy. That's crazy, bro. So I will be going first. Oh, dude, I want those back to back picks, man. No one... I feel like back to back. You'll get back to back. That's crazy. That's crazy. Shit. I have so much power, I don't even know what to do with it <laughs> in the first round. That's All right, crazy. I go second. All right. That's For crazy. audio listeners, the order will be going Benjamin, Aiden, and Charlie. So this is uh this is gonna be <laughs> this is gonna be quite interesting. Um, I, um, I I didn't I didn't draft up a like something to keep track of. I didn't know if we were gonna do that, but we could just pull up like a notes pad or something. Okay. Um, yeah, that, that's fine. That's fine. That's perfect. Let me. But, well, I mean, we could we could pull that up while um while we get into like real quick. Dude, I have some to of the, go first. Some of the news. Uh, <laughs> that is a lot of responsibility because really, no matter what you do, it's there's gonna be someone combating. <clears throat> Dang. Okay. Um, before we get into that, while we pull up a little thing to keep the visual, the visuals going to keep track with the visuals. Daniel Destin Cretton oh, is yes. now directing the fourth installment of the MCU Spider-Man. Um, I, I'll, I'll start. Charlie, you said it best. We are about to get the best gosh dang fight scenes of any Spider-Man movie ever. And I know Ben will attest to this because he loved what Shang-Chi was able to do. And um, if y'all don't know, that's where Daniel Destin Cretton um, started his MCU journey, directing the first Shang-Chi movie. And I loved what he did with that movie. I loved uh, everything about the uh, the fight scenes, the emotion, just how beautiful everything was up until the third act. Third act was a little bit, eh. Juggled a <laughs> lot of, juggled uh, some characters that, uh, you know, he, he probably didn't really have a direction for. <laughs> Christina, uh, and so, Damn. to see him jumping on this one, I am very, very excited. Now, I don't know if this was confirmed, but I was talking to Charlie. Uh, Charlie. I was talking to Ben, sorry. Or ben. Jesus, man, what am I doing? <laughs> what am I doing? I was crazy. talking to Brandon, and uh, Brandon said that um, Zendaya was apparently returning for the film. That's what, Got that's what I saw as well. Gotta be honest, I hate that. I hate that a lot. Yep. <laughs> I think she yep. should stay far away. Not, you know, and then that's nothing to do with her as an actress. More so, keep this version of MJ out of here. It is by far the worst consistent in both of Tom Holland's Spider-Man movies. And I've been very vocal about that. And with the fresh mm -hmm. new start, fresh new faces... For um, Peter, I think that should also extend towards Ned and MJ. And so, not the biggest fan of that, but I am a huge fan of what Daniel Dustin Cretton will be able to do with this with this movie. Over the moon excited as soon as I saw it. Yes, th that was exactly my. Uh, I, I said I mentioned in the group chat. I was I was super giddy. I was walking around work with a stupid little smile on my face. Um, it was a mixture of emotions, though, because of what you said with the uh, MJ stuff coming back. Because I, uh, I saw that as well. Not to say that I don't like Zendaya as in the in the role. I just really and it just sounds it, it sucks because for two things because I, I don't want her to come back because I love the place where we left Peter in at the end of No Way Home, and I think there, that would have been a great thing to explore, um, him on his own which there's still potential there for that. Maybe she's just like a look at her from afar kind of role. Doubt it though. But secondly, the current rumor is that uh, there were negotiations between Marvel and Sony and Sony wanted it to be another multiverse movie, probably because they think it's going to make a ton of money that way. And Marvel wanted it to be more of a uh, street level movie, which we don't know how true that is, but that was just the ongoing rumor. And also the ongoing rumor is that uh, Sony won those discussions so it's sounding a lot like the this movie is going to be multiverse based which i don't know what they're going to do with that maybe we'll see like 
our first live action miles. I could see that being like a, a leaked announcement that comes out of this movie in the, in the lead up to it. Like they'll do a live action miles, live action, spider Gwen kind of thing this time around or something. But, uh, you know, I don't want to get too deep into theory, wild territory. It's just, I want to enjoy the, uh, addition of Destin, Destin Daniel Cretton. And uh, also kind of makes me wonder about Shang-Chi 2, because that was a news uh, article that came out today as well. Not an article, but just a, a headline that he is still attached to Shang-Chi 2. But now you imagine that that's taking a heavy backseat with him uh, probably fully focusing on Spider-Man 4, considering apparently it, it's going to start production in early 2025, I think they said. so. Is it Destin Daniel Curtin? Was I flipping his... His name Des is uh, yeah, it's Destin, I Destin or, Daniel Crenn. or Daniel Destin Crenn. No, it's Destin Daniel Crenn. Yeah, hundred yeah. percent. Yeah, that is right. cool. Yeah, I thought you said that though. I don't know. No, I was definitely saying Daniel Destin Crenn. Oh, really? <laughs> Maybe I wasn't, man. I don't know. Like, <laughs> hey, bro, I, I you outed yourself, bro. I was gonna let you. I was gonna let you buy the track That's record. Crazy. I've been on today. Jeez, man, I wouldn't be surprised. I um, I didn't really say anything in our group chat when the news was posted and you guys talked about it just like briefly with your guys' reactions. But I think I'm excited. I, I obviously am. a. I, I mean, I guess maybe it's not obvious, but when we've talked about Shang-Chi, I've been very vocal that I'm a pretty big fan of that movie. Uh, it's one of my favorites in like the recent years of Marvel projects. And so the fact that, you know, we have that director attached to the next Spider-Man film, I think that's exciting. I think, um, Charlie, to your point about this being a multiversal movie, with it going into production so soon and also it, it being, you know, speculated, I wouldn't call it rumored yet, but speculated that it's going to be a 2026 release um, and kind of fall in between where we're getting the Avengers movies that are coming up with Doomsday and Secret Wars. It technically is falling within the multiverse saga so you know that could be part of their justification for it mm -hmm. but you're right that like they had they had the multiversal story and then you know things quieted down and it's it was at so much smaller of a scale with where we left off and no way home that i do think that it might be a misstep to kind of throw peter parker into another huge story and kind of just you know push it further than it seems like it should because we're at such a simple place that they could you know really lean into the character and do things that that you know fans have wanted from tom hall and spider-man um charlie you've probably been the most vocal of the three of us about your criti critiques on his character and so they were kind of opening the door for that by like settling down and not doing a bunch of crazy things and so if they don't go that route i don't know it, it really just depends on what they do but it, right now it sounds like a misstep for them to have such a good setup and then just to like kind of brush past that to go for another crazy story and it's like after that where do you go because you're probably just leading into avengers secret wars i guess so like i don't know it seems like we settled down and had like you know the not only the trilogy of spider-man movies but also the events of infinity war and endgame so it was kind of this like build up build up build up and then no way home and then it was like okay we're we're shrinking things and now it's like we're just gonna inflate them back into secret wars so yeah. i don't know i'll be interested to see what they do with it but i like the director and i'm excited for spider-man 4 i mean i think i'm a bigger fan of tom holland spider-man movies in general than most people so i'm definitely there for it but i don't know still a lot of questions and i i don't know and maybe it feels too soon um for this to be happening and then when it comes to Shang-Chi 2, I don't think that him directing this necessarily pushes it back too far because I don't think we were getting it before Secret Wars. I don't think that we were going to be seeing it in the next two years. Um, so I don't I don't feel like it actually changes anything. It just like confirms that it's not coming for a while, which I kind of already thought that anyways, which is sad, but like we'll get it eventually. Do you guys think that we, if Sony didn't own uh, Spider-Man, do you think that we'd be getting a, another Spider-Man film before Secret Wars and such? Like, do you think that that would be a priority for Marvel or would they just kind of like focus on this 
other thing? Because I, I imagine it's mostly Sony that needs to put out another Spider-Man movie to make money. You know, mm. so that's I, my opinion on it is that I don't think we would. I think we would we would be. Winning. I don't think so. Yeah, I mean, especially maybe. like just consider all the movies that Sony is putting out. <laughs> like um, how big of a flop was Madam Web was Morbius. I mean, the Venom films make decent money. Um, who knows? I mean, Craven's probably not going to do super, super well. But yeah, I mean, Sony in general just like spider-man is their money maker when it comes to superhero movies so that might be part of it hey man final venom 3 trailer on thursday get hyped okay get hyped put some respect we should dedicate an entire episode to reacting to that trailer and talking about the movie <laughs> right, next week babe. break down hold, hold on hold on now let's <laughs> calm down there all okay. right do we have a graphic or anything? Or are we just gonna go off? Yes, the sir. I go. Yo, yo. All right, man. All right. I'm trying to, to hold bro. you accountable. You talking to dog. Come on, I'm man. Trying to hold like, you accountable, brother. I'm that guy, bro. I'm that guy. Let me delete. All this right. Movie. Let's see what it. Oh, wow. Dude. Really, man. Dude, Whoa, I right. said let me delete it. Come <laughs> on, bro. Golly. All right. Sheesh. All right. We got a visual. Oh, that's not a visual. <laughs> We got a visual if any um if anyone's watching on YouTube. If you're on audio, you can easily listen on audio. It it will not it will not take away from oh. the uh... <laughs> I try... Ben's feeling that pressure. I tell you, Ben is feeling it's that just pressure. Gonna, he's right. trying to figure out what the best one route to go with right off. Well, the... it's just since it's the literally the first pick, this is me saying I think this is the best suit. Which yep. is like that's a bold state. Whereas like, you know, if you're going third, if you're Charlie, then you can still pick like a good one, but you know, it's not necessarily the best because other people have already gone. So, Oh man. <laughs> <clears throat> All right. And with that, I, I made my decision begins. and I'm, I'm just going to, I'm just going to stick with it. So, All right. My first pick, what I think is my favorite superhero suit of all time, at least right now in this very moment, how I'm feeling, I am going with the Andrew Garfield Tasm 2 Spider-Man suit. Damn it. Oh, okay. I thought it'd fall. I thought it would fall to me. <laughs> you were going to pick that? Yeah. Oh, yeah. I think that, that was is your fit. Okay. I feel I better that... about my pick then. Oh, yeah. I no, think... I think that's the best looking. Yeah. Yeah. For me... Um, because I know we kind of talked about if we were going to do between like cool looking versus functionality, even if we're just, just based off of looks, I think that from that very opening swing sequence of TASM 2, it just yeah. is phenomenal. The way that it looks and the way that it feels, the realism of it, I think is a, like a big thing that people emphasize. It just looks absolutely incredible. And then even like tying it into... Um, you know, not a, a great villain within the film, but some of the visuals that you then get with the suit because of that and like, you know, all the electricity and whatnot and the final battle sequence and and all of that, I think is incredible. Um, I think, um, I don't know, man, it's just, it's so good. Yeah. It, it just, <laughs> it looks incredible. And I like the TASM 1 suit, like, you know, it's all right. I think this is such a step up between those two films from, you know, some of the first suits that Andrew Garfield's Peter Parker was making to then this point and just like the vibrance in it when you compare it to like how dark the TASM one suit is. I just think it looks incredible. So this is, yeah, I, I, I feel good about this pick. This it's a good suit. Yeah. Okay. All right. Yeah. I, 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 I I'm inclined to to agree. It's a very very good suit. I will say I'm not me personally. I've never loved it as much as everybody else loves it. Um, small nitpick I have is uh, the spider being down so low on his chest here. You know, um, just a small nitpick though. I still love the suit overall, but I do think I don't love it as much as everybody else does. But I mean, it's fantastic pick. Truthfully. Can't like I can't you. be mad. I'm I'm real because like I'm I'm facing the Ben situation. It's one thing having the number one where it's like all right, this is like the best, you know. Like it's 
yeah, it's debatable. But then it's like, I knew what my number one was. I didn't know what the hell my second and third were going to be. Like, I just threw down contenders. And now I have to sit here and pick what my favorite one is. You know, this one. I have another pick here in a little bit, so it's, you know, it, it's it's fine if I go a little hot take here because I have other <clears> ones to kind of uh, to kind of back me up on it. But you know what? I, I'm, I'm playing with my heart, with what I love, with what I feel. And if it's not the general population's opinion, then they're just going to have to come see me and catch this fade themselves. I'm going the Robert Pattinson Batman suit. As my number oh one my pick, gosh. aka the second overall pick, Christian wow. Bales is good. You know, I I have I have a lot of respect for Christian Bales, um, but the cowl on Robert Pattinson, and just the way his eyes look, and the the the, the ears. I mean, it is all gorgeous. But then he also has the tactical aspect of it whereas ben affleck's batman suit is like you know it's real slick he just shows up and he got he has those fists he doesn't need any armor on him he doesn't need you know the um the forearm attachment that robert pattinson's bat suit has but for this batman for this iteration of him i think it works perfect and i i think the the tacticalness comes out a little bit better on his and it just makes sense for his character. And I think he makes it look totally badass. I do love the cape and the collar. Uh, if you can see the picture right now, I mean, I'm just describing his suit for the audio listeners. But just looking at the picture right now on the screen, just the way everything looks and fits on him and uh, the the layers to the costume. I remember whenever we got the first look and everyone was like, oh, maybe the, the you know, bat on his chest is the... You know, uh, the gun handles from his from his parents, you know, weapon. There's just a lot that you can sit here and dissect about him and his suit. And, I, you know, I, I just think it fits him perfect. I think he looks amazing in it. And I think he rocks the ever-living hell out of this suit. And so I had to go with my favorite. I mean, are there some that I think are just better that the population would agree is better? Yes, but... I don't know. For for me, this one is just uh, it just clearly takes the cake. It was always going to be one and two with Tasm and him, but when you took Tasm two, I was like, should I? Is this my definitive number one pick? And I hmm. I think it is. I think it is. I re- this is a great suit, and I like if I was going to have a Batman suit on my list, it would be this one. But I don't think that I would have put this in my top five. So it's like it, okay. wow, okay. and maybe with more consideration. Like I had it on my overall list, but yeah. I might. Yeah, I don't know if I would have this high, but also like pulling it up and looking at it, it's it's like, beautiful. It's so <laughs> good. It's when so I was good. when I was looking through my list, I just I just kept comparing it to all the other ones on here, and it just kept making more and more sense to take it number one. So that's my number one pick. Um, you know, I, for me personally, my thoughts on it, you know, I love the suit as well. I think it's probably my favorite live action Batman suit. Um, I was never a fan of the, uh, Nolan ones. Uh, truthfully, I thought they looked way too, the, 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 uh, the cowl. I couldn't think of the word there. Uh, the cowl especially really turned me off from, uh, from it a lot of the time, but, um, and then, you know, I, I enjoyed uh, Ben Affleck's a lot as well, but I think uh, what dragged me down also from that was just it's a lot for me. A lot of it is the cowl, and I and I, yeah. I think that the cowl is perfect. I don't know if it's just Robert Pattinson's head shape or what. I thought that Ben Affleck's was too beefy, uh, mm-hmm. and then it, it it came down to his shoulders a, a lot more beefy as well. Uh, and then you had like the like when he fought Superman type thing anyway i'm anyway i'm getting i'm getting lost in the tangent but this suit i thought was uh i thought i thought was perfect truthfully i thought um it brought all the different elements uh, of batman as aiden was was mentioning together in a, in a really uh 
thought provoking way. I, I think, yeah, I remember people talking about the bat symbol being like a, a dissembled gun and they thought it like it might be from uh, the gun that, that killed his parents, which is like really morbid. <laughs> <for people. laughs> I mean, that's crazy. Uh, but I just remember the reveal of the suit in the red room. Oh. And, uh, just, ah, dude, that was such a, what a, what a way to reveal it really. I mean, it's a, uh, it's a, it's a, it's a good, it's a, it's a really good pick. Truthfully. I, I, um, I don't think I can really say anything that I, I, I absolutely despise about it. I think the jawline, I guess, uh, like I keep talking about the cowl, the jawline goes back a little bit far, you know? Um, the cowl is just so perfect, dude. Like, yeah, the ears on it, are, they go up to, to a, a really great mm. height and everything. Uh, like even the bat symbol, like I didn't like it, the logo at first when it was first revealed. But at like watching the movie and after seeing it and then I've gotten used to it, I love it. I, I really love it because it's a different take and it's, it's, it's beautiful. Obviously, like I still probably, I think from the nineties, um, Batman series, like that logo that, 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 that he has on that show is still fantastic. Probably still my, my, my top favorite one, but like, that's, that's still beautiful as well. Ah, okay. <laughs> you get See, a double well, pick here. Yeah. Um, See, like it's. I don't know, man. You know, like I I have one in my mind and I have it up here already. Let me bring us back to the to the to the um to the table. I I struggle like I feel like I in my body, I feel like this is a bad pick for my first pick. I feel like this is a bad pick, but I cannot for the life of me think of something other than this that like is so when I saw it, I was in love, you know, mm. um, because in previous to tease it a little bit in previous iterations, I had always been like the odd man out of this person's suits. And I just, I could never really get behind it. Uh, them, uh, I should say, mm. but this one, man, this one, with one tiny nitpick that I will talk about when I when I bring it up, uh, where's the okay? It's it's this tab. It is Captain America's suit from Endgame. I wow. no, let me. Yep, yep, yep. Mm. I dude, just adding the scales to the suit, like he has on so many comic suits, brought it together so well for me. And like, there's another shot of uh, of him. Uh, I'm about to pull it up right now. Sorry, audio listeners. I know there's a lot of visual stuff going on that you're probably missing out on. But like this dude, like, oh my God, it's so like, I just wish it's the colors that, that are the nit, the nitpick for me. If it was a more vibrant blue, a, a brighter white and a, and, a, and a little bit brighter red. Oh my God. Like, look at the she the red on the shield, bro. Match that. Oh my God gosh man like this is everything i i was never somebody who cared uh too much about i, I know he, he his uh first movie suit gets a lot of praise as well as the one that he wears in the third act of winter soldier mm -hmm. i you know i i was one i always thought those two suits were pretty much the same and i didn't i didn't understand why they got like different amounts of praise but every other suit i just never got behind but this one right here man and it sucks that it's just for the end of the film, but, <laughs> oh, man, it is—is is it good to me, bro? Oh my goodness! Yeah, I gotta put this on the on the table real quick. You guys can say your thoughts on it. <clears throat> it it's a great suit. I'm I'm kind of on um I'm kind of where Ben was on mine, where where it's an amazing suit. You know, thought it looked great, but it didn't it didn't find a spot on my list. But <laughs> Captain America's just always been kind of like a I don't really know how to describe him. Just kind of like a yeah, he's great, great character, love him. Not really attached to him in any way at all. Mm -hmm. Which I know other people are like. I know Ben is a big Captain America fan, which I have nothing against. I mean, Winter Soldier is my favorite Marvel movie um, in the entire universe. So you know, it's not like I just completely discredit the guy or or the character. Um, I I just I just don't really have an attachment to the suit. I can acknowledge and I can respect its. Uh, it's beautifulness. It's beautifulness. I just, <laughs> I just crazy. don't have, I just don't have an attachment to it to where it jumped up 
above everything for me. Like in my opinion, I, I think I like the Winter Soldier suit more. Um, but again, you know that might be a hot take. Mm. But you know, oh, I, I respect. Yeah. I respect that. I don't think it's a bad number one pick. I, I don't think it's a bad number. One pick. Really? Okay. Hey, all right. Well, I'll take that, Benjamin. I think it's a bit of a questionable, questionable number one pick, yeah. personally. Yeah. yeah. Um. Certainly. It's Tell not even really like it's not my favorite of the Captain America suits either. So. But I like the suit a lot. I would just be, depending on how the rest of this list goes, though, it'll be it'll be interesting to see if you know other Captain America suits make it on there. So, I mean, I yeah, I like the suit, but there's definitely there's a couple of Captain America suits that I like more, like two. A that couple. I can think of. Wow. Yes. Oh yeah. My goodness. Okay. All right. So yeah, I don't think this is a a great pick. Uh, hey guys, let's hop off of Charlie. Variant, let's so, hop yeah. off of Charlie. Oh, hey, guys. Bad, you know? <laughs> okay. My, my second pick, because this lovely snake draft we have. Ah, man, you guys are really gonna you're gonna you're gonna vibe with me for this one. All right. Trust me, trust me, you're gonna vibe with me for this one. I can't uh I can't really talk it up enough, truthfully. Um, I think you guys are gonna Okay, that's too small. I'm trying to find an image, so I'm kind of stalling. Um, maybe this one. Ew, that looks horrible. What the flip? Sorry, guys. Um, <laughs> this is so dumb. It is Icarus. I'm just kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. <laughs> you had me so scared for a second. Oh snap! This one's kind of small too, but oh well. I gotta. I'm, I'm gonna have to share my screen again. No, yeah, you're oh, good. Uh, this one. Yeah. It is Black Panther uh, suit yeah. from Civil War. Yeah. Yeah. This, I had I had images pulled up right here looking at it just for like, okay. if it would be my second pick. Yeah. This dude, like I I think if I'm I'm of the opinion of the opinion, excuse me, when his when his solo movie came around, bro, like that suit fell off a cliff, truthfully. It's not horrible, but it just it got so smooth, the detail was lost in it. This suit, man, was what a way to introduce him into the into the MCU truthfully this was absolutely fantastic to look at on screen just watching i have another uh tab up of it right here i i wanted to pull up the shot of when he's getting shot at by the uh the helicopter and all the bullets are bouncing off cuz it looks great when you're watching the film but all the google images i can find of it don't look great but oh my goodness man this suit is utterly fantastic and watching him maneuver around it, it it makes it look less floaty as well because of how detailed it is i feel i feel like he feels a lot more floaty in his movie and uh yeah. end game and infinity war and, and whatnot and so ah, i cannot sing the pra praises of this enough obviously there's not much going on color wise it's just the the black and then the and the silver but i think this even trumps uh What's the villains? Killmonger's. Uh, I was a big fan of Killmonger's suit at the end of Black Panther one as well, um, just because of the gold and whatnot. But uh, this is like I, I think that this is just so much infinitely more clean, and it just it's I, I think great, fantastic. I don't know. Oh yeah. wait, I just thought of a third pick. Awesome! Can't wait for the next round. All right, let's go. I uh, yeah, I absolutely love this this suit. Um, I like how you use the word like floaty. For for like his movie and and Endgame because I was gonna say I feel like if it got if it fell to me I was gonna say I really love this suit because of how like I don't know the right word or like I'm about to use a word as a verb and it might not make sense but he looks a lot like stockier you know mm -hmm. if, if that makes sense and the um, the mask and the ears I don't know he just looks like a lot more menacing. Yeah. And I think the silver complementing the black too as well. And uh, like when you look at him, the first things that stand out, the eyes, the the silver around his collar, and that's mm -hmm. and that's just gorgeous. That is just beautiful that those two things are the things that stand out the most on first uh, first sight with him. So I'm a huge fan of this suit. I love it. Yeah, yeah. it's a great suit. It's the the best Black Panther suit. Um, and yeah, the floatiness issue, I mean, they even went as far as to like emphasize even just like the tech of how, you know, when they 
stomp on the ground it doesn't make noise or whatever like even that little thing it just like they just feel you know like nothing when they're just moving around and doing whatever so this suit i love this suit yeah truthfully fantastic fantastic pick charlie nice job nice job pal all right pick. i honestly if you would have had that as your first pick i mean I oh my gosh bro <laughs> oh my gosh. all it's right it was charlie session today um, I'm a, oh man, it's like, there's a couple on here where it's like, do I do that? Do I make the safe move? Do I go with my heart? And since I went with my heart on my first one, I think I might have to go with my heart on, uh, on the second one. But here's the thing. It's a toss up between two suits of this character. I don't know which one I like more. They're both equally as amazing. I think uh, the, I'm, I'm gonna go the obvious choice, but. The other iteration of this "quote unquote" suit rocks as well. Okay, enough teasing. I'm gonna go Daredevil Netflix suit. Yeah, I'm wow. keeping the theme with the street crawlers. Wow, I love, I love his suit. Uh, it was a toss up yeah. between that or the uh, the beginning suit of his, where it's just the black clothes and the the uh, the ropes on his hand. Um, oh, okay. But yeah, it, yeah, yeah. it was a toss up. One of those two. But I don't, I don't know. It, again, maybe I'm just a sucker for like the cowls and just like the menacing look of of these characters' eyes. But I look at everything on my list and I'm like, yeah, I, I, I like this suit the most out of all the ones on here. And it, Dang. I could have made, I could have made a lot more safer choices. But if I'm going with my heart, I'm gonna go with my heart on the rest of this list. And uh, yeah, I, I, I love the sleekness. I love how badass he looks in action. He looks amazing with it. I just think, again, it just fits his character. It just fits uh, what the show's trying to go for with him. And the character of Matt Murdock and the badass that he is. I do have some, like, you know, the, there's some points where the cowl kind of looks a little odd. Um, it, it, it looks like a little bit too small up here. But um, I'm able to look past that more often than I um, am able to critique it. And so... I think it's a fantastic suit. This suit was so freaking good that it looked amazing when two different people wore it, man. Like, come on, come oh on. God. So I, I, I yeah, yeah, mister. I love this. Uh, I love this suit. I think this is a, for sure. A, a lock at my second favorite. I think that's a, I mean, it's a great suit, but it's, that's a, a bold take to have so high. I think. Yeah. I mean, like I said, I, I wanted I could have went with the safer option, but I just I wanted to I wanted to get this one out of the way and, and just jump on it before there was any any way it got taken away from me because it just had to be on my list. Again, I just I just looked at every other suit and I was like, would I pick this one above this? Nah, I wouldn't. Yeah, that's uh I can't lie to you, man. That's uh that's a terrible second pick. Uh truth. <laughs> <laughs> um no, nah, I mean I don't think it's I don't think it's horrible. Uh it's not I don't I don't I let me say when I first saw it, keep in mind I was uh 14 years old. So I loved it when I was 14, but you know, <laughs> I grew up and I realized <laughs> not that good. Uh, no, I got to stop dogging on it. <laughs> I don't care. Bro. <laughs> I knew. Uh, I mean, uh, yeah, there's, I knew that there was a lot safer. I well, yeah, Cause that's, I honestly, I think I would have chosen the black with the hand. Wrap. Um, now that I'm looking at it, I, I'm thinking, I'm thinking uh, that I maybe would too. It's just so, I don't know. It's just so sick. Like you look at that suit and you're like, this dude is a menace. Like he's literally blindfolded with the ropes on his hands. You're telling me this dude is out here kicking ass. It's like, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I might it, it was it was a toss up it was a toss up but yeah I, I don't know bro you're changing my mind I might I might go with the with the <laughs> just the suit and the robes I mean dude that's like I feel like that is like the titular version of the character yeah anything. like that's what he always comes well, back to like he comes back to it in season three yeah it still looks at just as badass you know and that's why I was like going back and forth so much because I was like, do I go with like the, the, you know, the, the ropes on the hand suit or do I go with the obvious, like the, the safe choice and just take his daredevil suit. And so I, I honestly wanted to say the, 
the ropes on his hands. And so I was going back and forth. I'm changing my pick. I'm going the ropes on the hands. Oh, Fuck this, man. I'm going the ropes on the hands. Ropes Anyways, yeah. I, again, I, I can gush about this one just as much as the other one. Yeah, it, it's a great suit. It's fantastic. It's simple, sleek. It gets the point across. Okay. All right. All right. Change, it, uh, change of the pick. Black Daredevil <laughs> Netflix suit as my second pick. I okay. like it. Benjamin, are you ready for us? I am so ready. I'm actually very glad that like none of my picks have been taken so far. So this is great. Keeping it me. interesting. Yeah. Um, so I guess I'll pick which because I get two picks and I know what the two will be, but I'll I'll actually pick them like in the order that I would place them. So for my number two, I am going to go with the wolverine suit from deadpool and wolverine give me the yellow (laughs) give me the yellow that every single time that i that i see it and just notice more of the details it looks so phenomenal like the color is so vibrant the yellow and the blue everybody who's made fun of it it like it translated so incredibly well i actually funny enough i was watching a movie this is so random but i'm gonna bring it up because it's funny i was watching a movie an animated movie flushed away hugh jackman voices the main character and costume shows up there is yeah there's a, a moment where like a wolverine an accurate comic accurate wolverine costume is in the animated movie and the, there's like a joke about it which i think is funny um but it, it translates so incredibly well. And like some of the little details that I love, the uh, the area where the claws come out, especially like on some of those like close up shots of that actually happening, I think looks absolutely incredible. Um, and then, of course, you can you can talk about how all along, which, you know, we kind of knew but didn't know until it happened that there was a cowl um, and you know, I think that's been pretty heavily praised as well. I think it looks absolutely phenomenal. Um, but really, it's just the fact that they they committed to the color vibrant, comic accurate look. I, I don't know. Anytime I see this suit or see Deadpool and Wolverine edits or anything, I like the suit just keeps going higher and higher. I think it's absolutely phenomenal. And like for what they're going for, it's a perfect Wolverine suit. I don't have any complaints. And like, I don't think that they could like, they couldn't top it. They took so long to do it, and then they they did it to perfection. I uh, I'm not gonna lie, this wasn't even on my list, but you know who was Dang. dude next to him. I'm surprised didn't get picked above above him. That's it's a great suit. I I, I love the the rib, the the ribs down to the uh, down to the upper thighs. I think it's a great addition, and it did translate very beautifully on screen. So uh, it. it I'm sure it's a it's in a lot of people's top five. Like you know, it, it's uh, it was talked about up and down the street as the movie got closer to coming out. It's a very obviously great suit, I guess to to put it that way. Yeah, I like it. Yeah, I mean, I enjoyed it. Obviously, when I when it when it was first revealed, I mean, there's even a line in the movie about it. Uh, well, that only took twenty fucking years or whatever he said. Uh, and yeah, I mean, it looks great. The vibrancy they got the vibrancy down, and I think that uh, overall with both of these suits, this film, I think they got they stepped up the vibrancy of. Uh, I, I can't say they stepped up the vibrancy for for Logan's suit because we had never seen it before, but uh, they did they did right with the. I think they they chose the proper yellow. And they gave Wade the proper red as well. But I mean, I even down to what Ben was mentioning with the, watching the claws come out. I love how high up the uh, little claw holes are for him because I, I saw this on Twitter not too long ago. Because I think in 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 comics, I don't know if this is uh, has changed. I don't know if it's changed since then. But in older comics, they have the claws coming out of like the back of his hand. But in in all of the Fox movies, uh, and I, I maybe it's just because I grew up with all the Fox movies, so I, and maybe I like it more. The Fox movies they actually come out between his 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 fingers like that, and that's what I love more. And and even in like X Men ninety seven, if you look, those three hand things are like way back on the on, on the back of his hand, like they're not up towards his knuckles. And I like that they are up towards his knuckles more here, and which makes sense. Obviously, it's uh, 
kind of it's not the fox wolverine but it's the same kind of um precedent it's this, it's hugh jackman you know they i'm sure they had the same kind of people working on that but uh or people familiar with it anyway and so uh little things like that that i love i you know i really just wish when he was sleeveless that they kept the shoulder pads because that was that would have like mm. oh mint mint and i will also say the cowl is fantastic as well so yeah. um yeah great pick truthfully uh, you Thank know you. I, I like it. I, I know I gave it a stink face right when you <laughs> revealed it, but that was just for memes. So yeah. yeah. I know you're jealous that I got this. Don't <laughs> no, worry. Really? I, I was I like Aiden. It wasn't on my list either. <laughs> um actually uh my next pick is the Deadpool. Suit. Oh, there you go. Yeah, yeah actually, I have a great wowzers, pick. Wowzers, wowzers, yeah, wowzers, wowzers. Um, and I think like just to if I have to specify, I'll just say like the the Deadpool 3 one, you know, right after he gets tailored in the TVA. Uh, that's when he gets his most like up to date equipment, and even like in contrast to this picture, which has it a bit uh, darker red. They've been through some battles at this point. When it when it's fresh, it's like so vibrant and red, and looks absolutely phenomenal. Um, but I've always loved the Deadpool suit. I think it just like it fits the character so incredibly well. Even like seeing the behind the scenes of when they were first like making the suit and making the mask, and how they had like a bunch of different ways that the eyes could look and different shapes and whatnot. I just think what they picked and what they put together was just absolutely phenomenal. I, I love it so much. Uh, and it's just, it's such a compliment to Deadpool's character. Like that's, that's a big part of it is it just like, it fits him. And, and like that just adds so much on top of the fact that it just looks cool anyways. Uh, and it, it's hard to go wrong with like just a, a clean black and red, suit um and so i i just think it's just very solid very well done and especially like you know when you see that one next to the wolverine one they're just they work so well together and they're just both beautiful they're both just so good yeah uh, yeah i i mean i like this i like this suit as well i i, I loved uh watching the re or not watching but seeing the picture reveal of it and seeing how much like you mentioned how much more vibrant the red was i thought it was that a fantastic choice um there's a, i think there was a couple of smaller visual changes as well like up towards his chest and whatnot probably could pull up an older picture of uh, of his suits to compare actually somebody did right here so that's kind of perfect uh as you can see in the chest they added a couple more lines and whatnot but uh i mean truthfully i still think that this is one of the most like comic accurate kind of suits that that we have and like this is it's it's a a really great rendition if you ask me and so uh wasn't gonna be on my list though uh but i mean yeah it's good uh good little pick you certainly have a type benji so <laughs> what does that crazy. mean crazy nothing what man mean? sorry i shouldn't no. have said anything sorry <laughs> aiden go ahead pal sorry i shouldn't have said anything this one's gonna <laughs> shock shock y'all i don't know maybe it might not Maybe the last one not. already did, so I. Think <laughs> oh well, just uh, this one is. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see how y'all react to it. Um, I gotta go with Doctor Fate. Oh, baby, Ooh, that Doctor Fate uh, suit. Whoa, that Doctor Fate suit. If you pull it up and you take another I look like at that, that baby. Pick, oh bro. my God, it's gorgeous. Wow, that's a really good pick, it, actually. Absolutely gorgeous. I, and I just the more that I look at it, the more it just screams like that blue that he wears underneath the gold, like all of the little symbols it has on it. It doesn't need any like tactical lines or like, you know, like the the tracing of the chest and the abs. It's just it's just a nice sleek suit with all of the uh, engravings on it. And then the the gold goes on top of it. It's not like I'm sure it's attached, but you know what I mean by it. it's not directly attached like to the suit it looks like it kind of just sits on him and then just a straight little helmet that that you can't see even a wink of his face and if he took it off and you did catch a wink of his face oh you'd be blown away even more because that man <laughs> that man is a man um and i even love um i have a i i saw this like, oh man just look at that suit <laughs> look at that suit there was a um there's another picture, and I'll, I'll share this one just – or, Charlie, you could pull it up. The, the the waistband around him. 
just um yeah like a full body picture of his suit um it just doubles down on my point of that gold just like sitting on him you know like it, it's not it's not a belt you know it's not shoulder pads it just sits on him and then that gold contrasting with the dark blue i just i looked at this this was almost my second pick i i think it is a beautiful beautiful live action comic book uh whatever you want to call it superhero suit um i just can't get enough of it it's it's gorgeous and i think this worked very very well with the color grading choice that they chose with black adam like did they did they go a little did, did they do a little too much is what i'm trying to say i can stop stuttering did they do a little <laughs> too much with it yes but it um every time he was on screen it just looked absolutely gorgeous so i like that aspect as well Hmm. Hey man, I think that's a that's a surprising pick, one I didn't even think of, but I love it. I think that's a a really good pick. I feel like this is a perfect blend of like keeping that sort of simple comic book look, mm -hmm. but adapting it into live action without like I hate the this term because everybody uses it all the time now without MCUifying it, you know. Um it's still got the smooth, uh, like not like tight spandex, but like it's not spandex. Like it, I, I don't know, I don't know how to describe that that yeah. blue material, but it's true. It, uh, I mean, I think it works really well. And it, the thing that makes me like it a lot as well is that I don't know how you could do this kind of thing with like every other comic, not every other, like literally, but with many other comic book outfits. Yeah, I don't know how if you could like make it look this sleek, uh, while keeping it more like like I would liken this to um, a more like modernized version of like Christopher Reeve's Superman suit. Like I think that is like yeah. too cartoony, in, yeah. in, in for my taste. Like that's too comic booky, trying to lean too comic booky with it. But a lot of people love that suit, right? And I think that this is like taking that cartoony look but also modify, modernizing it in a perfect way. And I, I think it just works fantastically well. I think this is a really good pick. Yeah, Are this sure wasn't on my radar at all. I'm not going to lie. But. I, I kind of – I got to the third – I got to this third pick. Even before Ben picked, I was like, I don't think there's any way he chooses Dr. Fate. But then I was like, maybe there's like a slimmer that he does, like a, you know, a slimmer of a chance that he does. Yeah, and so I kind of got a little bit nervous, but I mean, like five percent nervous, and so no, not I, on my I, radar at all. Okay, cool. I, I would have thought, um, Char I thought it would at least been on Charlie's list, but no, I completely forgot about it. Completely. It's a great yeah. suit. It's a great suit. Like when I was looking through, considering like Black Adam was not on my radar, <laughs> yeah. like at all. I mean, that's just yeah, that's just the truth. So yeah, but great pick i honestly like as soon as you said it i was just like my first thought was wait who's that and then as soon <laughs> as i remembered i was like oh wait that's a great yeah, pick that is a so really i mean yeah pick. props props for the pick yeah, Appreciate you. it's crazy <laughs> okay um so for my uh third pick um this one you know this one's this one's hard for me, and you guys will know why as soon as I, as soon as I show you. Um, so many mixed emotions with this. Damn one. it! It's don't really, don't do it to me. So many mixed emotions with don't this one. Don't do it to me. I I mean I I would imagine this would be on your list, but Moon Knight. Like, oh, this, damn it, you fucker! You this fucker! Suit, no you way. fucker! This, <laughs> this suit, man. Like I don't like the show. Oh. Like at all, except for episode five. But like this suit is, mwah, mwah, mwah. it's fucking fantastic. <laughs> oh my goodness, oh, brother! Like this is, I I keep talking about bringing comic book suits into the modern era, into the modern age. Like this doesn't do the still cartoony look that Doctor Fate does at all. But. That's totally okay because I think that they made this even more badass than I could. I I never would have imagined anything like this 
when thinking about this suit. Like in the build up to the show, I was genuinely worried about the suit. I think the the mask leaked uh, before the entire suit did. And I wasn't a fan of the mask. I was like, bro, they're mummifying him. Like, what is what is happening? Like, this looks dumb. But mm-hmm. seeing it actually real actualized and realized, oh man, it's good. But then they go and do like the the alternate whatever. What's it, what's uh, Stevens, Mister Knight thing? Which you know, it's just a guy in a suit. So it's mm-hmm. whatever. But uh, this this is the main this is the main draw for me. And I, I, I like fantastic. I was uh I messed up my camera because I was trying to show you my other monitor, but my um the thing that makes it a webcam is real touchy and sensitive. But I was literally sitting here looking at pictures because it was gonna be my <laughs> next pick. Yeah. Damn wow. man, that's a that's a good pick. I love that suit. It it would have fit so well with my like Batman my Batman theme. I, I had the same. I mean it's it's gorgeous. And in there's in some pictures, um the picture I had I had pulled up. You can like see the um, the moon and like the little like gold plate underneath a lot better. It's he's like has his hands out. Oh. He's in the room, and you can like the way that the um, the the way that they like mummify it, and it's just like wrap. Yes, wraps around all of like the um, the uh, armor underneath. Oh my god! And then white and gold. Like it's just it's a great suit. It's a great mm. suit. That's a that's a great pick. I can't lie. Yeah, it, it was on my list. I'm not gonna lie. Uh, I, I I did not. I didn't think you would pick it, Charlie. I don't know. I just, really? like see. That's why I was like, make an A. I I saw Aiden pick up on it, and when he's like, "Don't do yeah. it." Yeah, yeah. That's like, what I, was, I was like, I mean, for for me, I guess there's like, there's partially an association sometimes with suits with how much you enjoy the character or like how the suit is utilized within the given story. So sure for me, the surprise comes from like, you weren't that big of a fan of moon Knight, especially compared to me. And so the fact that you would pick it just a little surprising, but like great pick, right. really, really yeah. good pick. Hey, yeah. thank you. Appreciate it. What can I say? All right. Give me your second one. I swear. I I'm going to take a picture of what I have on my screen and the time it is, and I swear, if if you pick my pick again, I'm going to be upset. Okay, well, I I have the two in my mind. I just don't know what order I want to do them in. Oh, I feel like I feel like Aiden has one of them. Sorry, I should I don't want to leave so, too much dead air. I feel like Aiden has one of them. And so I don't know if I want to try to take it. Uh whatever. I'll do I'll I'll go I'll go with the uh with the other one. Um let me let me Google it real quick. It's truly fantastic, I think. Um in my uh taste. I don't, you know, I've come to not love the 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 movie as much. Still a great movie, don't get me wrong. Okay, I'm safe. I'm safe. Fall out, <laughs> out of love with it, um, but uh, I, I mean, it's just like I don't think you get much better than than this, in, especially in current day, or I mean, what was current day? But the Mark II, okay, the Mark II, Iron Man Mark II, yeah, the Mark II, or wait, this okay. is the Mark III. Sorry, this is the I was Mark gonna III. say, is the Mark III? Okay, yeah, the Mark III. Uh, yeah. yeah, the Mark II is the yeah. silver one. Yes. Um, the Mark three, man, like this is like, Gorgeous. this Fantastic. is absolutely stunning, bro. Like I, I, I would have loved, I, I almost, I had an inkling to pick, uh, the end game one a little bit. Just because uh, of- <laughs> uh, I hate that suit. <laughs> really? Cause you don't what? like the, the, the gold, the uh, 85. Pads? I, I hate it. I hate it. It it's just crazy. looks like he's, I don't know. Compared to this, bro, like this is perfection. I mean, yeah. Like, yeah. Anyways, you're, you're, you're no, you're right. You're 100. percent You're right. I, I like. I, I do like this one more, which is why I ultimately ended up going with it. But like, the the I was I I will say I was more of your opinion, Aiden, when the trailers for Endgame were coming out. Like when I was w- watching him fly around. Like I think there was a short clip of him flying when they're when they go back in time in New York City when he's flying above Stark Tower. 
uh that shot of like and i saw like the gold on the shoulders like really like ex extenuate extenuated i'm not using that word or saying it correctly but anyway um it was very pronounced and i hated it but uh i've grown to love it but anyway talking about the wrong suit dude this suit man like they knew they needed to hit with this movie right they knew that they like they well, actually they don't they didn't know they needed to they were just trying to and I think that's the difference. Like they were 100% balls to the wall trying with this the entire movie and yeah. every suit that showed up. The, the, the fact that we get three different suits uh, of him, in, technically four if you want to count Iron Monger, but three different suits of, of, of Tony Stark's Iron Man in, in, this, in this movie is insane in and of itself. But then when you top it off, with the hot rod red and like, oh my gosh, man, watching him fly around in this, even when it gets, um, let me see if I can uh, pull up an, an image of it. Um, Even when he's like battle damaged, like it still just looks impeccable. I think I'm thinking of like right when he is walking away from the tank, but then on top of that, you add you, the, the scene of him putting it on for the first time, bro, or the robot doing it for him. Ah, dude. Oh my it's just fantastic it's fantastic truthfully i can't uh i can't sing enough praises for it it's great too it's phenomenal yeah. it, it was on my list as well so yeah oh, it, oh two takes away from benji <laughs> let's go chat it's it's a great it's a great suit i think this is infinitely way better than um his uh his end game suit um let me just uh let me show you a couple reasons why i hate this suit all right <laughs> There's so much going on here with like Ash, the, yeah. the silver undertones. There is so much going on to where it's like, why do we need this? Why do we need like the rib piece? Whenever you look at like this one, the Marthy, like it's just so it's slick, it's sleek, it's smooth. It you he looks like he can like move around in it, but it's like this uh, like a perfect amount of practical. To whereas this they can fully CGI it and you wouldn't even tell. Like, why? Why are there shots of him in this suit where he looks like he's wearing spandex and it's not actual metal that's on him? And, you know, like the nanotech aspect. And it's like, yeah. that's so like lazy. That's just so bad to me. And uh, and so, yeah, there's just there's just a lot like even this part right here before I switch back. Like just it's just way too much going on here. Way too much going on. Where it, Whereas you look at a suit like this and it's just like. It, it gets the point across without having to do too much. And yeah, it's a huge reason why I would take this suit over his other ones. Maybe, I don't know, Mark II? <gasps> uh, the suitcase suit, that's a, that's a beautiful suit. But well, uh, honestly, the suitcase suit, like it's 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 good. It's, it is it is good, but I don't know. It's it's lost points for me over Thoughts the on um, which one is it? Is it the Mark? Is the suitcase suit the Mark II or? The, oh, Mark V. Yeah, Mark V. What's the my other pick was probably going to be the Mark forty two or forty three from Iron Man three. Iron Man three, yeah, that's the one yeah. I was about to ask about. I actually really like that one. I really enjoy. Um, let me aesthetically, that's one of my one of my favorites. Is it? Is it forty two? Forty three? Is I it the? It's, it's forty two. Forty two. Yeah. It's yeah. 42. Um, with the gold being more primary than the uh, than the rest of the suit, like truthfully I, okay. that's this is actually the suit this is why i asked if it was in the group chat if it was mostly looks or not mostly but if we were judging off looks and functionality because if we were doing functionality i would have added this suit for sure but then also i'm glad we didn't do functionality because then like obviously uh, nanotech would win functionality <laughs> argument every time over so yeah uh, yeah yeah, I, I, I don't know. Oh, I'm, not don't like biggest, I'm not the Damn, biggest fan. Really? Oh my gosh. I'm not the biggest every fan. Every suit that isn't the Mark One yeah. or the Mark For III. once, I'm on Charlie's side with like most <laughs> of this episode. This I don't is, know. Like just the, the gold. Crazy. The gold showing and then just like the little hints of red. Like, I don't know. It just like I don't know. What it what what immediately stands out to me is it looks like a gold suit that someone rubbed like lipstick over. <laughs> got like six years all over. <laughs> What's the Civil War suit? What what is that one? Mark forty six. What do you think of that? Let me let see. Me, let me pull it yeah, up. Yeah, pull, pull, pull it up. Pull it up. <laughs> Great suit, but it is. I think people give it too much crap because Ooh, of I, the I rough it. CGI during the airport battle. Yeah, I love it. Yeah, that's a great suit. Yeah, I think it. I think it's a really good suit as well. Um, um 
A lot of the the reason I didn't pick his later suits, sorry, and a lot of the reason I didn't pick his later suits is because of the CGI. Like, if it was better and you made it look better and gave it the opportunity to look better and more practical rather than having RDJ just walk around with the big plastic football chest, um, chest, uh, football pads. Oh, my God. I played football. That's crazy. Uh, with the gigantic football, Iron Man football pads on and then just CGI the rest, you know, like if it had a chance to look way better and just like one or two scenes, I probably would have picked this suit. Cause like, yeah. I think this suit is fantastic. Truthfully. Yeah. I, um, I love his, uh, I guess it is the Mark five. Yeah. I love the Mark five suit, but I think a lot of that comes from like, I had this action figure of the Mark five suit that came with um whiplash and uh and I, I think it's chains i can't remember at all what it came with but i just or if it was even all that advanced but i remember being obsessed with that action figure and so i was just like automatically in love with the silver and red i was in love with the fact that iron man could have a suit that was silver and red and not like just strictly silver and and or um, red and gold and so yeah, yeah. I love that suit. Speaking of silver, I'll tell you one that I absolutely hate, and it's the one from Homecoming. Like, that is vile, brother. What were they cooking with this, bro? <laughs> that was disgusting when I first saw it, man. And it's <laughs> disgusting now. Crazy. Yeah. All right. Enough talking about my pick. Who's up next? Aiden, you're back up. Uh, I'm about to get controversial again, but. You know, it just wouldn't have made sense if Mark Three slipped to me and I and I put put the Mark Three in this spot anyway. So it it just it was always going to be this other one, even if it's uh not as um. Wait, was Mark Three going to be your, your next pick? Um, it just it with the theme of my of my list, I probably wouldn't have. But I had it on okay. my I had it on my like picks. There was okay. like my picks and then like my backups, like if I got to it. Okay. Um. This one though, I'd be remiss. I'd be remiss. And as soon as you said you thought the movie was still great, I knew that I was safe because this is Mysterio suit and far from home. Gosh dang it, Aiden. Dude, Woo! yo, we're taking all of this. No. This is sick. This is sick. I Hell did yes. not think that that one would get <laughs> snubbed from me, man. It's um, what can I say? It's an amazing suit. Uh, I think the maroon red compliments the gold and the green just so beautifully um the little accents on his centerpiece and then the the cool little trippy waves that go across his uh the pieces on his forearms yeah that's the suit i'm looking at um i just i i just think it's gorgeous again the the spandex underneath it doesn't have to be anything too crazy it's nice it's simple he has his chest piece that that does all the talking for him and then of course the thing that holds his cape being the uh the great um actually i don't even maybe that's not what i think it is either way it, it looks amazing and it, it just it still adds a ton to his uh to his suit i think it's gorgeous i think jake gyllenhaal looked phenomenal in it he uh he did his freaking thing in this suit to uh make it come to life oh yeah it is two eyes that's what i thought it was the two eyes on his uh on his collar that hold his his cape it's a beautiful suit Dude, this I did not think that that one would get snubbed. Man, <laughs> this is this is such a great pick. I thought you guys would look over this like easily. Uh, I, I I thought Charlie was going for it when he said it's between two, and then you were like, uh, you know, I'm, it's still a great movie. I was like, I'm good. Yeah, a little sad that I didn't get this one, but can't be mad at i mean it's a great pick it's a yeah. phenomenal pick i mean <laughs> yeah yeah it's uh it's pretty good uh you know i think when people talk about mcuification this is like this is up there you know this is up really there. yeah yeah this is a piece of shit suit piece of shit pick <laughs> 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 i actually really like the cape uh i think the cape is fantastic uh i just i struggle with this one um after uh let me see let me pull it up actually i struggle with liking this one as much now which this doesn't make sense and it's not logical i'm not actually going to hold this against uh the suit at all but like 
look at um, Fortnite's version of it, pretty much. <laughs> like, this is fire. You know, like, this is fire. Tell me, bro. Yeah, this is, like, equivalent to, like, Aiden bringing up a One Piece or something. <laughs> it's like, what are we doing here? Look, Charlie, <laughs> literally the only difference is that this is all one suit. Literally, you just raise that centerpiece and uh, make it gold. You get, you get his suit. Uh, like, it's, uh, it's gorgeous. Uh, I'm sorry. Uh, no, this is this. It it is it is it is it is decently good. You know, I um, the the green spandex underneath. You know, it's it's uh, it's. I love the texturing on it, and I love the uh, the color of it because it's not too bright green. Other otherwise, it would take away from uh, the gold, more gold accents within the suit. Uh, I also do also I also like the eyes that uh the cape mm -hmm. clips or whatever I yeah. what what are the what are the um things that like Wilson Fisk in, in Daredevil uses cufflinks. cufflinks yeah I don't know if you'd call them like cape cufflinks maybe but anyway um yeah man you know I it's it's a cool suit man it's a cool suit it's it's it just doesn't do anything fantastic for me personally so let me, i'm glad it's on your list it's not on mine you know it's it's can drag, it can drag your list down that's I how care. i feel about that captain america first pick anyways oh I, 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 ben God, hit us save me from this conversation well <laughs> um this was not the ending that i was expecting to have but i'm still pretty happy with my picks um Oh, okay. So, yeah, you're about to end it off. Huh? For my number four, I'm going with the Iron Man Mark Seven from the Avengers, which <laughs> we already, you know, covered a lot of details about Iron Man suits and whatnot, and kind of their evolution and how they changed as the MCU progressed. Mark Seven is gorgeous. Yes, yes. So for me, this is right up there with the mark three uh yeah. as still yeah. like feeling that like realistic uh you know we didn't get to the point where like the cgi was starting to get rough or where we had glaring issues to me that like i would put this hand in hand with the mark three i don't there's there's like not enough difference between the two where i like one substantially above the other so they're you know it's it's right there with it so i'm i'm totally happy to to have this one um, and with the Mark III gone, to me, this is the next logical pick. I think this one, it's a great suit. Phenomenal suit, in my opinion. But we've already hashed out a lot about Iron Man suits. We didn't talk about this one. I didn't bring it up because, you know, I was planning yeah. on picking it. Um, <laughs> so I guess... I thought you know, about this one, too, though. Yeah, I looked at this one. So would you would you guys say the same, that it's, like, basically right up there with the Mark III? Yeah. Because they're I, so similar? I, I yeah. would agree. I, I really do like this suit, and a lot of it might be because it's just that's an iconic movie, and I just like I think everyone kind of looks amazing in that movie, and so when I see this, I'm like, oh yeah, the the Mark Seven suit from from the Avengers. Yeah, I I, I keep it held with that memory of uh, whenever whenever we had practical beautiful Iron Man suits. So yes, I I do agree. I think the only my only thing is I like the. Um, that's I like that that arc that yeah. um, better. I like that. That's one what I was gonna say. I I I would have picked the Mark Six over that one. Me personally, hmm. I the Mark Six. He wears it at the end of Iron Man Two and the beginning of Avengers. Um, <clears throat> I love that triangle, obviously, which I know it's not on the on the Mark uh, Three uh, at all. But uh, I think that the Mark Six and the Mark Three are pretty interchangeable um just barring the uh the unibeam um marker right there but uh i i i personally love the mark 7 a little bit more but you know mark marks marks wait did i say i like the mark 7 a little bit more yeah oh i like the mark 6 a little bit more excuse me but you know the mark 7 what you know i'm glad benji got it I mean, that. I think three, six, and seven. Yeah, they're all they're all kind of like right there for me. The only issue I have with the Mark Seven is the arc reactor, but I mean that's like not a it's not a huge deal for me. I don't like the uh, the the thigh the silver on the thighs, hmm. um, and then uh, the weird shoulder pad bit here. See, uh, I like I like that. Like, it, I think for me, it's just like 
it's more of what I love in an Iron Man suit. Whereas you know how I feel about the nanotech suit where he looks too just skinny and like spandex. Sure. Um, and then how I feel about the Mark three where it's just like, yeah, it's bulky, but I mean, he's in a literal iron suit flying around. Like, you know, it's doing, it's serving its purpose. So I kind of like that. Yeah. Fair enough. And then for my final pick, I'm going with what I believe is the best captain America suit. Which is there yeah. we go. The Captain America suit from Avengers Age of Ultron. Oh interesting. It doesn't have the same scales that Charlie brought up with the endgame suit, but I think it's much better when it comes to the color balance and the vibrance of the colors. Uh, I like the white on the sleeves. I love the chest emblem. To me, like the the scales are not like they're not like a hundred percent necessary for it to be a great suit. I think this looks phenomenal uh, without it. I think the vibrance matches. Like we talked about the comparison to his shield. To me, these colors. That's a good point. So Very much better. Point. Yep, um, solid point. So I think this. I think this is the best suit that caps that caps worn personally. Um, yeah, that's a great suit. So, and I brought it up earlier that I would probably put two above the end game one. The other one that I would put above is the Winter Soldier one, which I think I thought, Aiden brought up earlier. Yeah, I thought you were picking the Winter Soldier one for a second there. I went back and forth, but I really think that the white and red of this suit is just like so well done that I think this is probably my favorite. Yeah, I, that's a great point with the colors, truthfully. Um, it makes me angry now looking at this and like why couldn't they get the colors correct on the on the end game one, you know? Uh it's really like I honestly forgot about this suit uh, when I was when thinking about I wouldn't have picked it, but um I just forgot about this suit and this is a really good looking suit for for Cap. Um gosh, that red and white is 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 really good. It's here. gorgeous, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's not like and when I say I wanted a better blue too, I don't want uh, people to think that I want like the Avengers um, style blue, as less a little bit too vibrant. I think for um, the kind of themes and settings for the MCU, um, at least for that time period. Like now, we're talking after just talking about Wolverine and Deadpool and how vibrant they are, but. <clears throat> Back to this suit. I mean, I even love the red going down to the uh, star on his chest. I love those red lines. I think that that adds a little bit of a difference um, and nice change up to the suit. And I also love how it wraps around the uh, tops of his shoulders. Really good suit. Really good suit. Really good pick. Good. Thank I don't you. know about a final pick, but it's a good, good pick. Good pick. I, I felt like I needed cap, and this was definitely my my cap of choice. Okay. I like that. I like that. Yeah. Oh man. I wait, uh, also, wait, hold on. Sorry, sorry. What was your pick before this? Oh, the the Mark Seven. Never mind. Mark Seven. Yeah. Hmm. Oh man. Uh it, it okay. I um I'm kind of stuck between three here. I am kind of stuck between three suits here. Just pick the incorrect one, brother. Come on. And uh, stuck between I, the three is kind of crazy for your last pick. Yeah, well, it's just like I don't know. I'll, I'll go into the three or the, the other two that I didn't get to, um, and maybe it'll make more sense. There's just like all three. It's like, man, I feel like I want on my list, but there's one that. There's one that fits the best with what I've gone for in my past two picks. Um, and then the other two are just like, you know, just suits that I I rock with a lot. Um, <laughs> I really don't know what to do here. Um, okay. I think I can roll that one out. Do these two. Damn it. All right. You know what? You know what? There's one suit where it kind of like it kind of contradicts my theme of like, you know, just like a lot going on. Like, you know, just too many lines, 
too many like uh you know just too many things going on on the suit but whenever you just like first look it's it's kind of gorgeous there is one thing though that i think will kick it off my list and uh unfortunately i think it's gonna have to sit there all right uh, that leaves my that leaves my other pick and that is uh Aquaman suit from the first Aquaman mm. movie. Wow. Mm. Goes with my Dr. Fate. Goes with mm. my Mysterio. You can even say the simplicity goes with my Daredevil. Um, I think this is uh, it's just a beautiful looking suit. I mean, you just have the solid gold up front with the scales, the green gloves, cool belt piece, and then the uh, the green the green pants. It's simple. Gets the point across. And Jason Momoa fills it out and looks gosh dang beautiful wearing it. Yes, so uh, nice. I think it's a, I think it's an awesome suit. It, it's it's the embodiment of you you know less is more. And uh, if I'm going with the theme of uh, of my Doctor Fate suit, I think it just it fits right in uh, with that. So yeah, I, I admittedly have not watched and probably will not watch either Aquaman movies, but. I can really? appreciate this suit. Yeah, no, I've I've never the first one's I've never not visited awful. them. Um, yeah, I just <sighs> I just I've never felt compelled to sit down and put it on. I feel like there's other things I'd rather put on than. Uh, yeah, we know. Aquaman movie. We know. Don't worry. Oh yeah, there's a, about a thousand plus uh, episodes of a thing I'd rather put on. Oh, that okay. Aquaman. Um, but no, I, I I can still appreciate just how gorgeous this suit looks and how perfectly aquaman jason momoa looks in this the second movie suit jesus man horrendous it looks disgusting <laughs> but this suit I, I love a lot hey i mean yeah i honestly you showing this uh made just makes me think of like the dcu honestly they do a good job with like keeping the comic booky kind of look for their characters like I would yeah. say the first Shazam suit as well. Yeah, that's uh, that's one really, that almost yep. touched my list. Yeah, yeah, that's a that's a good one. The second one, awful, no. Uh, but then I look even like at, at Black Adam himself. I think that that's a very like you know it's still very comic booky. It doesn't it doesn't add too many like unnecessary lines and whatnot. Uh, but I think Aquaman it was a great pick as, in, in terms of like keeping that comic book beauty to it and. Also, somehow, like, this is a suit that, like, it should not work in live action at all. Like, just the <laughs> bright orange and the scales of it all. I mean, maybe I'm just a sucker for scales, but, like, it does. It does work, you know? And, like, this is it showcased in two movies it, it, how well it works. So, um, this is a screenshot from the second one, by the way, Aiden. Not that you would fucking know that. Um, I am more than happy to not know that. <laughs> <laughs> i'm surprised you didn't pick uh pick this bad boy bro this is this is the best oh, Jesus. Suit, all right pick pick your pick Charlie. <laughs> <laughs> ugly suit <sighs> okay let me type your last stupid pick into this thing real quick and then uh i can't wait to get y'all's thoughts on the other two picks that i was uh back and forth on yeah i have a i have one honorable mention as well uh, for mine but it's i guess i'll make these other two on yeah, whatever. It doesn't matter. <sighs> this one was a toss up for me. And the only reason I didn't go with the other one is because, like, it's not like set in stone. Um, I'll talk about that in a second. It's not absolutely set in stone. So. Couldn't stick. Damn, why is this so big? Oh, it's because I'm zoomed in. I got it. Hold on, hold on, guys. Oh, I think I know which suit you're about to pick. No, you don't. Pretty no, sure I do. No, you don't. All right, type it in your phone right now. Type it in your phone right now, and then I'll, <laughs> and then I'll say, and you'll sh and you'll show us. <clears throat> I'll keep yeah. yapping. But the other one that I wanted to pick, it's not a hundred percent set in stone, so I couldn't pick it. I'm saying but I think I know the the one that I'm going to pick. Yeah. No. The one oh, that's the one not that's not set in stone. Oh, okay. Then, yeah, I believe that. I think. Okay. I'm, yeah. Uh, I think I'm being pretty um, too obvious with that. With, with, with in me saying that, but I am choosing, and I'm really surprised Aiden didn't pick this. 
Tobey Maguire's uh, yeah. suit from Spider-Man 2. Yeah. Uh, specifically the Spider-Man 2 one, because I don't like... A lot of people like the spider in Spider-Man 1, the, the chest logo. I don't. I think it looks e exceptionally worse. But that's why I was surprised Aiden didn't have this on his list at all. Uh, but, you know, this suit... Uh, it's childhood, man. It's childhood, oh, and yeah. it, 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 it's 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 it. I think started the three D webbing trend, which a lot of people now think that their Spider Man cosplay suits have to have, and they think that <laughs> Spider Man suits in general in the movies have to have. Um, which I'm not of that same mindset myself, but I do think it looks gorgeous here. Um, this suit I, I didn't always love. I still don't love how dark the blue is. It could be a little bit brighter for me. And so um, the one, that, which is why I wanted to pick the other one that isn't set in stone, which, Benjamin, were you correct? It's No Way Home, the end of No Way Home. No, actually. I thought oh, you, you were going to go with um, Falcon suit from the end of oh. Falcon and Winter Soldier. Oh no, no. I mean that's a that is a good that is a, I like that suit. That uh, was one of the ones I was debating. Because I also oh, yeah. would consider that one not set in stone. Yeah. yeah based on what it, we've seen. It yeah, for is. sure. Yeah, that's definitely gonna change around. Um, but no, I had to go with this one um because I needed I needed to have some Spider Man suit on here, but I just I do not like any of Tom's suits whatsoever. I hate the webbing on Tom's suits because they're instead of one. I I don't know if I've told you guys this. Um, I guess I'm just telling you, Benji. The 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 webbing is two separate lines that are separated from each other, rather than one thick dark line. They're two separate skinny dark lines, and mm. I I just think that looks terrible on a Spider-Man suit. I'll see if I can find it, but. I've um, never even noticed that, really. Yeah, let me uh, let me see if I can pull it up. Um, this suit, though, like I don't love the silver webbing. I wish it was black, but I, honestly, like it works for um, it works for this iteration of the character, and I think that it only works because they 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 kind of Sam Raimi kept with the uh, the theme of it and kept going with it. And I also think that branching off a little bit, talking about the symbiote suit of it. I think that's such a such a lazy symbiote suit um, to me. Yeah. A lot of people love it. I'm not one of those people personally. Um, I need to find a close up of this mask. Uh, actually, this picture should work. Look, I'll try to zoom in. Aiden, we're talking about how I don't like the webbing on any of Tom Holland's Spider Man suits because you were gone. But if you look, it's too oh, nope, that's not a good enough picture. Not a good enough picture. Um, let me find a picture of his mask. Ooh, this one. Yes, 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 yes. This is from Civil War. Obviously, it's changed a lot, but like this is what I'm talking about. Like it's two separate lines, except for where yeah. the webbing connects to 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 each other. Um, two separate lines. I hate that. I've always despised that. Hmm. I think I even made a TikTok about how I don't like it, and people call nitpicking bitch. Like, oh, I get it. Okay, I know. Whatever. But like, you then you then you come back to to Toby and Andrew, and they just do it right, man. They just do it right. And honestly, that's something that they fixed with the end of uh, No Way Home suit. It looks like too, but it's not definitive. Haven't gotten a really good look at it, so I can't be. Um, a hundred percent positive on that. So I just had to go. I had to have Spider Man on my list because I'd be a fake Spider Man fan if I didn't. And Benjamin took the uh, other one. I probably would have taken because I'm not putting Dasm one on here because you're crazy for saying you. I like the Dasm ones. Oh yeah, you like basketballs. You like basketballs. <laughs> oh, well, I was saying that I like it, but like in comparison, I would never. It would never have like touched the list. Okay. Oh, okay. Yeah. I'll, uh, I, wasn't, I wasn't saying that it was like an amazing suit. While, while we're on the topic, I'll just show you why I hate this suit. I mean, I'm sure you could tell. I can't do this without hovering. But this right here, like just all these unnecessary lines, yeah, this black board. line right here, it's just like, it's disgusting. Like whenever you look at uh, Tobey Maguire's, I mean, or Tobey Maguire's or Andrew's, um, 
I'll uh yeah, I'll just pull Charlie's back up. Like it's just so it's just like blue, you got the red with the webbing, and then blue. Like that's mm-hmm. it. There's no unnecessary lines, no like other colors just spilling in. No, like I don't know. That's why I absolutely hate that Tom Holland. I'm the more, homecoming suit. When the it comes only to Tom Holland suits, I'm the biggest fan of the black and red. Yeah, I agree. That's what yeah. I was just about yeah. to say. Yeah. I the only suit of his that I like is the black and red one. That probably um, would be one of like if I were to pick two honorable mentions, that might yeah. fall in there. Oh, okay. Yeah. yeah. I'm a big um, fan. But because I hate the Iron Spider suit, I think it sucks. Homecoming suit sucks for like everything that Aiden just mentioned. I do like the Civil War suit, but I don't really count that. That was I don't know, it was there for four minutes total screen time, probably. Um and so I, I don't know. I, I don't, I don't want to include that myself. Um, cause I think that they try to pass off. No. Yeah, they definitely do. They try to pass off the civil war suit as the homecoming suit later on. Cause that's just what Tony gave to him. But, <clears throat> uh, what's the other one that he wears? Uh, Oh, the, the no way home, the one towards the end of no way home with the gold spider on it. Nope. No, sir. And also the inside out suit. Which oh, geez. I don't know why they made that a thing. It's <laughs> horrible. Gosh, they gotta sell toys, man. They gotta sell toys. It's annoying, yeah. Oh my goodness. All right, recap of the lists. Yes, 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 yes. All, All right. right. Ben, go ahead. Name your list. If All you're right. listening, if you're still listening, take a mental note as as they go through. Take a mental note as we go through of visualize these suits in your head. And uh and then use that to vote if you are going to vote. All right. At my number one, my favorite suit, we have the Andrew Garfield TASM to Spider-Man suit. Absolutely beautiful. And then we have a great pair for my number two and three with the Deadpool and Wolverine costumes from Deadpool and Wolverine. Amazing duo. They look incredible together with the color contrast but also individually just great great comic accurate superhero suits my number four is the iron man mark seven that we see in the avengers and then my final my fifth pick was the captain america suit from avengers age of ultron and i gotta say overall a couple of my a couple of my picks were taken but i am very happy with my five. Awesome. Could have been a could have been a, could have oh, been a com- it, oh. the wheel. The wheel tells everything. Could have been a completely different <laughs> episode today if not for the wheel. Um, for my five favorite live action superhero comic book suits, um, visualize these in your mental. Um, my draft, the Robert Pattinson Batman suit absolute ass kicking machine and and that suit makes him look like it and that'll be the theme in a lot of these well i guess just the next one the black daredevil netflix suit it's not the flashiest it's not the prettiest but you take one look at that thing and just and fear it's uh gets inserted right into your heart dr fate black adam at number three beautiful gold and blue gold and navy blue simple Gets the point across. Mysterio, far from home suit. Again, colors just clashing in a very gorgeous way. And at number five, Aquaman suit. Exactly what I said about Dr. Fate. Just just insert green instead of blue. <laughs> Beautiful <laughs> suit. Um, and so, yeah, that's my list. Uh, okay. Um, here is uh, is my list. At number one. I have Captain America's suit from Avengers Endgame. Great suit. I love the scales. The scales are really what bring it together for me. I guess I'm a, I, I don't like snakes. So that's, it's weird that I like scales so much, but whatever. Uh, number two pick is uh, Black Panther, specifically from Civil War, Captain America Civil War. That suit is absolutely fantastic. I, it sucks that they took it away right at the beginning of Black Panther, um, but they got to sell toys. So whatever three absolute shocker to benjamin and aiden uh moon knight 
<laughs> because I can, I mean, I don't like the show, but it's a fantastic suit and I cannot lie. I will not lie. That is, it is truly one of the, one of the greatest things, the MCU, the, the greatest costumes the MCU has ever put together, truthfully. And I, I, I'm still in awe of it to this day of how they put all that together. And I can't wait to see how Moon Knight returns if he does. Um, number four. Iron Man one suit, aka the uh, Mark III, because I mean it's a classic. I mean it's. I talked about him, the scene of him putting on the suit, like seeing that for the first time, bro. It's just the like he said the hot rod red earlier, and then just getting to see the culmination of it. Ah, oh, dude, it's gorgeous, and watching him fly around in that thing, oh, Chef's kiss. And number five, of course, I could not leave Spider Man out of my list. Spider-Man 2, specifically Spider-Man 2, Sam Raimi, Tobey Maguire, not Spider-Man 2, the video game, in case you're wondering, uh, but Spider-Man 2, the suit with the raised webbing, everything, uh, growing up with that suit, uh, having all the action figures of him and whatnot, just couldn't leave it, couldn't leave it off the list. Uh, I, I mean, I could have if, you know, Ben didn't want to take TASM 2, but <laughs> if Ben didn't take TASM 2, Aiden was going to take it, so. Yeah. Which I will say, if you did let Moon Knight slip, I would. I mean, I would be head over heels, so happy with my with my list. I think I got the best list. I can't lie. So, I think I you think. you have the most safe list. Whoa, I'll say whoa, that. whoa! Hey, calm down there, buddy. Calm down there. Buddy. I, I'm just calling it how I see it. If you hey. were to hold this list up to a bunch of casuals, they are. I'm winning. I, I don't. Best. I think I'm winning what absolutely okay buddy okay, oh yeah pal as soon as they see cap yeah. age of ultron they're gonna think you're high out of your mind pal i mean which Bro, I, I agree end game yeah dude everybody everybody dude are you are you tripping i it? think i think i think um i think charlie would if we were doing the whole like mar like posting on our tiktoks like we did a a year ago i think charlie would win Nah, I, think, yeah. I think he'd easily nah, win. Yeah. It's just like, see, mine, as soon as I went with the, uh, with my, with, maybe not as soon as I went with the Baddison, as soon as I went with the Black Daredevil Netflix, I knew that I'm just going to, I'm just going to play with my heart. Like, <laughs> I wasn't playing for no wins. I was just playing with my heart. Like, just my favorite, my favorite looking suits. So, I'll probably, I'm, my horse is not in this race. All right. I'll just put it that way. I'll leave that up to y'all too. Um, or we'll me. leave it up to the audience who can vote, who can yes. vote in the YouTube comments or send us a text message. Oh my God. I was going to, I had her on my that, list the entire that time. Remind, that reminds me of, uh, this is an honorable mention of mine. Yeah. I, I was struggling to put her at, at five, but I, I needed to have Spider-Man on my list. I told myself, yeah. I love this suit. They ruined it yeah. in, in, uh, multiverse of madness. Then ruin it. It's still a good suit in multiverse of madness, but like this, this is an yeah. immaculate brother. Like yeah. this is this is fantastic. I, I I sung its praises when WandaVision dropped. Um, and it sucks, it's only there for like two seconds, bro. Two seconds it's there. Yeah. But like mm -hmm. it is so good. This is my honorable mention, 100, 110 percent. Yeah, hmm. it's it's gorgeous. It was I I had this and then my other two honorable mentions, and then my Aquaman. But I kept looking at the Aquaman suit and I was like, I don't know. Like it just it just fits what I've been going for this whole list. So I just like I, I'd feel remiss if I didn't. For audio it's listeners, I have up the uh end of WandaVision, what uh Scarlet Witch wore when she was taking down Agatha. Or after taking down Agatha, I think. I don't yeah. know. Whatever. Beautiful. Um any other um honorable I mentions will... I should bring up? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Bring up maybe another one. I have two, so. Okay. Go ahead and bring up another one of yours. Um, What was my second one? Oh, bro. Mm -hmm. Ooh, I, don't know. Do, 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 I forgot. Do, I forgot what my second one was. Truthfully. That's uh, uh, it's all you, dog. Can I give right. my two? Yeah, yeah, go for it. I had the black and red Spider-Man that we already talked about. Mm -hmm. um, the other one, this maybe wouldn't have actually like, you know, if I got to it, it might not have been like ranked seventh, but like it stuck out. So I feel like bringing it up is Bloodsport from The Suicide Squad, Ooh, the 2021 oh, wow. movie. Um, yeah. 
when he has his full outfit with his helmet on and everything, I think his I think it's great. Well, he's in Fortnite too. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> Mm. Um, on top of like i I know we were talking like functionality but his gadgets too were so sick bro there's no like good shot uh bless you buddy there's no good shot of or wait or wait did you actually sneeze or did you fake a sneeze i i I didn't do nothing i yawned and i didn't even make a noise while i yawned what was that no that was not that was like a sneeze noise what was what are you talking about there's no way that sounded like a chew uh, i don't know i don't i don't think so benji i'm sorry there are no good shots of like him and his i mean i guess this is the best one bro i don't know this is the best one that's all that's all i, I already found two bro oh my god yeah Dude, shut one. up pull it up let me see let me see I love, I love the, um, all right, here, I can actually pull it up. I, I like this. Yeah, damn, this is a really good suit. Holy. Uh, it's kind of mid, but whatever. I always, I always fall, the hot, the hot toys always, uh, are always the <laughs> ones that do it for me. This one right here where you can see his jawline. Ooh. That's kind of sick. Okay, that, that that's a good one actually. Yeah, it's a great suit. It's a uh, it's a beautiful suit. What was I your, thought about it, but I was like, eh. What was your other one, uh, Aiden, or your your two? I don't know if you gave us one yet. All right, I would be remiss. Or do you through. have another one, Benji? Or was it? It was just far from was, home in this one, right? I mean, I had a bunch on my list, but those were oh, yeah. Those that's are the, all. Okay. Okay. I. Uh, I kind of felt in, you know, I really wanted to get Blue Beetle in there, but this whole area of the suit is just kind of like nothing, you know? Yeah. Like, it's still cool, and I mean, it does look like, you know, like like this part right here I love. It does look like, you know, this alien tech dropped down on Earth and hooked onto him, but, you know, I just wish there was a little bit more going on here to where I, I couldn't really, I couldn't bring myself to, uh, put it above aquaman or my other honorable mention but it's still a great suit and i love blue beetle i think blue beetle is it is an amazing character i just uh i, I couldn't do it uh and then my other one so here's the thing right i'll just go ahead and share my entire screen because uh yeah why not all right this was my this was the other one i was juggling it was Sam Wilson's Captain America from the end of Falcon Winter Soldier and um, Blue Beetle and Aquaman. Blue Beetle I ultimately decided against because, again, I was like, there's not a lot going on at the bottom. And, like, you know, just – I don't know. It wasn't – it just didn't – I couldn't put it above Aquaman or this one. This one, as soon as I saw this line right here, I, I was just like, I don't think I can. It, again, it's like – I'd be going against my role of like, well, there's a, there's like a little bit too much going on. Like, you know, there's just a bunch of unnecessary lines, but this was one suit that I was like, I would, I considering breaking my rule for it because mm -hmm. it's just such an amazing looking suit. I love the white overshadowing. Um, I love the two lines right here, like the, like the old winter soldier suit. But again, I just think like maybe if these sleeves were all white, I would like it a lot more. I love the cowl. I think that is like my favorite part of the suit. Not the cowl, but you know, like this part right here that hooks up into his uh, red glasses. I think it is a gorgeous suit. Again, we got to see it for like an episode and now it's going to be apparently gone in Brave New World. Um, which I don't know. Uh, it's, this isn't a bad suit. Uh, again, a, a lot of what I loved about him though was this white. That was a part of it. Um, I just like whenever I first look at this, my, my eyes are immediately drawn to these extended lines right here. And I don't know how I feel about blue, white, blue, white, um, blue, white right here. And then again, blue, white, blue, white on the other arm. So, um, yeah, it's still a great suit. But whenever I compared this one to Aquaman, I just 
I looked at this and I was like, yeah, I don't, I don't think I can put that above uh, what Aquaman suit makes me feel like. So, yeah, my two honorable mentions: Blue Beetle and uh, Sam Wilson's Captain America. Jeez, talk about nitpicking, brother. <laughs> oh, y'all are gone. Oh, talk y'all are about, back. <laughs> talk about nitpicking, brother's like, oh, this line, this color, a little bit too much. Come on, bro. All right, all right, Mister uh, S- Mister Safe Picks, dude, Mister Bo- Mister Baseline Safe Picks. Yeah, you know, I probably, <laughs> I probably would have like, I just really wanted Spider Man on my list. I Wanda was going to be number five, but then I wanted Spider Man on my list. So it's a solid <laughs> list, I guess. I'm surprised um, Henry Cavill's Man of Steel suit didn't make anyone's list. I think. Listen, dark. I mean, like, it didn't make mine, obviously. Like, yeah, not even any time that Zack Snyder handled those characters, the suits were too dark. Yeah, like yeah, even yeah. just contrasting Aquaman suit and his movie. I mean, it's really just color grading. It's not necessarily the suit itself, but like Wonder Woman's own movie, Aquaman's own movie, even Joss Whedon's Justice League suits looked more vibrant than Zack Snyder's. I uh, I really considered adding David Corn Sweat Superman suit on here just as a. So I'm just I. gonna jump the gun right here. I really considered it, but then I was like, I f- yeah, I figured we had to like we have to see it on screen like that well, has to be a rule. I it, I wouldn't have cared. I would have I would have respected that decision. I wanted to, but I was like, again, I was like, I don't. I I'd just be wasting a spot for like a fun little gag. But I do love his suit. It it is absolutely amazing i don't know how i feel about the lines on it Ooh. i'm a big uh no line guy so sorry about that but here i'll, I'll uh sorry about that i'll actually sorry show show that. his suit real quick for any visual any visual watchers yeah these lines right here like i don't i don't know how i feel about that you know surprise make Benjamin it didn't choose ant-man without ant-man head ass in the background oh, <laughs> <laughs> Corny I, don't think, ass, bro. I don't think there's any universe where any of us would have picked uh Quantumania. An Quantum Ant Man suit. suit. I mean suit? Those, I mean those suits aren't bad to be fair. Uh wait. Hold on. Because I'm just gonna move past that. I'm gonna, I forget you said that, Ben. I they're not bad. I'm not saying vividly remember the Ant Man suit being fucking atrocious. Oh my god, this suit. Yeah, sucks. in Quantum Mania. Yeah, oh my god. Quantum Quantum Mania. Mania. I wasn't saying specifically. No, yeah, in, in, okay. I'm talking about the Quantum Mania like, suit. Jesus. The Ant Man and the Wasp suits from Ant Man and the Wasp. Yeah, the mask is improved from Ant Man. Aiden, what are you? What? I'm looking at this quantum mania suit. Okay, right good. Now. Yeah, I thought you were doing yeah, no, no, no. Absolutely Dude, look how terrible. bad this suit is. Oh my gosh. Yeah. What is up with all of this? That is terrible. That is absolutely horrid. Like this is the embodiment of just too much going on. I will say wasps is better than in uh just the Ant Man and the Wasp regular or the sequel to Ant Man. Oh, Hers man. looks better in Quantumania than it did in Ant Man and the Wasp, but still not great. <clears throat> yeah, I think. I mean, I think Kang has a has a pretty cool suit, but I mean, again, it's like it's. Eh. Who's Kang, bro? Oh yeah, I only, know, right, I only right. know about Doom. I only know about Doom, bro. Which Doom in Fortnite? Yeah. He yes. Is. He actually looks pretty sick too. Oh, oh you so you be keeping up, huh? No, I just oh. casually watch. Oh, okay. All right. Yeah, 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 yeah. All right. No biggie. I have his skin. No biggie. No biggie. No biggie. No biggie. No biggie. Uh, no. It's not. We don't care. All right. Yeah. Then we'll close out the show. <laughs> Good. All now right. people can see Lego Spider-Man. Okay. I, I tried to tell Charlie to, but I think <laughs> I'm just going to have to take him off for good. All right. <laughs> That has been Ben and Aiden. <laughs> oh, and man. Charlie. All right, Charlie, take us away. <laughs> what? He was already doing the outro? and then he's You did like, the intro. He brings me back. What? Oh, I yeah, go for it. Much. Oh, my God. I'm giving you a chance to redeem yourself. <laughs> um, 
Thank you guys so much for watching or listening. If you are doing either, we sincerely appreciate you. Again, reminder, um, leave some fan mail for us. Leave a comment. Let us know who you think won. Um, obviously, it was me, but and I thank you ahead of time. Uh, but if you have anything else to say, we'd love to read it. We'd love to read it on the show. I, I, forgot, I think I forgot to mention that at the top. We will read it. At the beginning of the show, anything that you say, anything that you message us with, we will read it at the beginning of each show. So please remember to do that. Don't feel shy. We will not embarrass you whatsoever. Maybe a little bit. Just a teensy bit. But if you're on YouTube, hit the subscribe button. Hit the like button. Hit the notification bell because we are coming at you every single week. And pretty soon here, we're starting up both the Penguin and Agatha all along. And that is going to be a weekly thing. We're covering both shows. And then, of course, we have great things coming up like the Venom 3 trailer, which I'm sure we're going to cover in uh, in next week's episode. We'll probably uh, do a little reaction. I'm sure we will have seen it by then. I don't plan on waiting to watch it. But um, we'll, we'll we'll talk about the, some things that we might have seen that we're looking forward to. Uh, we have... Uh, Joker 2, Joker de Falu, I don't know how to say the stupid title, um, coming out. And, uh, you know, there's a couple of reviews out for that, I believe, now. And it's not, yeah, not looking too entirely great, but it's not wonder, looking too horrible either. I wonder how much of that is the musical aspect, though. I, what I saw, I only saw one review, and it and basically just said it like it didn't really do anything, um, profound it's so it was bogged down by a lot of like needless things that just kind of didn't move the story along um so i i love i love how they left the first movie off as this like is it all in his head like there's some things pointing to it being like oh maybe this is just a part of his imagination and then they were like oh this made a billion dollars oh yeah it all happened we're making a sequel too we're also <laughs> gonna make a sequel to go with it like oh my. which i don't know maybe they'll address it in the the, the new one but i don't know yeah <laughs> um well we got lots of lots of other movies coming up i am super excited for and i don't know when it comes out so maybe i'm not that excited for it but uh andrew garfield and florence Pugh's movie oh my gosh we live in a time i cannot wait for that movie let me tell you got a 75 percent on rotten tomatoes so not not super high but you know mm. i'll probably still might still be the thing for me we'll find out but Seriously, if you're on uh, Spotify or any other podcast listening platform, uh, leave, us that, leave us that fan mail, leave us that comment, but also give us a rating if you would. Be so kind. We would sincerely appreciate it. It would help boost us and help us be heard by so many others and right up in their ear holes. We would really love to be, uh, especially in like an... All right, yeah, we're getting... <laughs> <laughs> wow. Golly, bro. This is how I'm treated here, guys. All right. This is how I'm treated all the time. Even not on air. Okay. Um, no, but seriously, thank you guys. We uh we immensely appreciate you every single week if you're watching us, except for you, Mimish. But yeah, <laughs> adios, guys. Sayonara.